Disney Palace Pet Blossom A playful panda for Mulan One evening, a happy little panda bear named Blossom was wandering through a forest of bamboo. She was looking for a special snack. It was mid-autumn and the days were getting shorter. As the sky darkened, the little panda's tummy gave a rumble. She looked all around her for something to eat besides bamboo. Where could she find a tasty treat? If were cheerful, Blossom didn't give up hope. By the light of the moon, the panda walked toward a little town nearby. It was very quiet, but as she neared the village, she could hear people laughing and talking. She heard music playing too. But best of all, wonderful smells wafted after her. Food, Blossom thought as she followed her nose to an ornate wooden gate. The gate was much too tall for a little panda to climb over. Blossom decided that she would have to go under it to get to the other side. So, with a squirm and a squeeze, the panda managed to crawl under the gate. And when Blossom looked up from the ground, she was amazed by what she saw. The village was decorated for the Big Moon Festival. Colorful lanterns lit up the night nice sky, and the giant dragon sh shimmered and shook throughout the crowded street. Everyone was celebrating and dancing to the music. Best of all, Blossom saw that there were banquet tables covered with food far as the eye could see. She couldn't believe her good fortune. Blossom's tummy rumbled and grumbled with hunger as she reached for a snack. But before Blossom could begin her feast, someone suddenly shouted, A bear! A bear! thought a frightened Blossom. Where? She couldn't see a bear anywhere, but she didn't want to stick around until one appeared. Instead, she dashed into the crowd to hide. Blossom ran around tables, darted between guests' feet, and finally ducked beneath the parading dragon. Surely I'll be safe here, she thought. Once under the dragon, the little panda couldn't help shimmying and shaking right along with the parade. The dragon danced to the right, so Blossom danced to the right. And when the dragon danced to the left, Blossom danced to the left too. She was having such a good time that she forgot all about the bear everyone was running from. That is, until she was spotted. They must not want me dancing along with the dragon, Blossom thought as the guests, guests scattered around her. However, to the little panda's delight, she noticed that she was right in front of a giant table full of food. All of that dancing had made her even hungrier than before, and she was ready to eat. Just as Blossom was about to start her feast, 
A beautiful girl walked up to the banquet table. It was Mulan. Mulan didn't seem worried about the bear. In fact, she seemed just as happy as Blossom to have a whole table of food for herself. Mulan loved the moon festival. Every year, she looked forward to the special night filled with music, dancing, lanterns, dragons, and fun. But Mulan's favorite part of the festival was eating moon cakes, and there was a mountain of them right in front of her. The princess couldn't wait to eat some of the special cakes. But just as Mulan reached for one, the tower of cakes collapsed. The soft, sweet treats tumbled across the table and down to the ground. It was a very sad sight. Mulan was puzzled. Where did all the cakes fall? She asked herself as she gathered the scattered cakes from the table. Mulan found her answer when she reached down to clean up the mooncakes that had fallen to the ground. There, sitting in a pile of mooncakes, was the cutest little panda she had ever seen. Blossom had pulled the cake from the bottom of the pile which had caused the tower of sweets to collapse. It looks like someone else loves mooncakes as much as I do, Mulan said with a chuckle. It's okay, little one, said Mulan. I'm not scared of panda bears. The princess lifted Blossom into the night sky. The full moon glowed against the panda's periwinkle fur. I think we are going to be very good friends, Mulan told Blossom. The princess invited Blossom to sit at her banquet table and join in the feast. As the music played and the dragon danced around them, Mulan and Blossom dined on dumplings and mooncakes until their tummies were full. Then the princess snuggled the panda close. You can always be my dinner date, Mulan told Blossom. In keeping with tradition, Mulan lit a lantern at the end of the festival. Then she made a wish and released it into the night sky. As the lantern floated away, the princess knew her wish had already come true, for she now had the sweetest little panda bear of her very own. And Blossom's wish came true too. She finally had the place to call home. These days, Blossom and Mulan spent time together exploring bamboo forests and enjoying fine meals. Now Blossom is never far from a snack, but more importantly, she is never far from her new friend. The end.